Congressman, I have tremendous respect for you, but I was shocked to read in a Reason Magazine profile that um, you actually stuff earmarks into appropriation bills just like every other member of Congress. And I thought you were different, sir. Uh, I, you, of course, vote against the bill, but I was curious how you could justify stuffing um, earmarks just like every other member of Congress. Well, okay, I, I, I think the people that are critical of that don't understand the process because you, it, to vote for against the earmark doesn't save any money. That's the first issue. And the second issue is the spending decision goes to the executive branch, which is wrong. All spending decisions should be by the Congress. So I argue the case that the Congress should make these decisions since voting against the earmarks uh, you know, won't do any good. Now, as far as, as at making the request, you're absolutely right. I vote against them all, so I've never voted for an earmark. You know, because I vote against all of them. But to make the request, it's sort of like you coming and, and asking, you know, for your uh, Social Security check. I don't like the system, and I want to change it, but I don't deny your access to your representative. So I think there is so much misunderstanding about this earmark. It saves no money whatsoever. It emphasizes that you want to give the power to the executive branch and take it away from the responsibility of the Congress. Now, if it's wasteful, that's a different story, and most of them are, and that's why I vote against the bill. So you can't say I voted for an earmark. Mark. But I think I'm responsible for representing the people. To me, it's like taking a tax credit or a tax deduction. I want to get rid of the income tax, but I'm still going to give you all the tax credits possible in order to get as much money back. So to me, it's, so, it's in that category.